He was hard hit when his brother Carlos Mauricio died. Although he didn't really talk much about it, he always cared. He was by our side, despite the distance. He tried to be strong, so we wouldn't have to worry about him. Gerardo was determined to transform his terrible loss into creating something positive, excelling even more in his studies and making the decision to go for his PhD. He successfully graduated only three years later. He patiently and diligently transformed his sorrow into moving forward with fire in his heart and humility. Gerardo joined the team fresh out of grad school, like most people at Uptronic. He had his bright ideas about what the future could look like, and we were looking to find the others. And when he came to Uptronic, he was really already kind of a star in the robotics community. He was already very well known. And he was clearly brilliant and very accomplished, but one of the things about Gerardo is he didn't fit the mold of what you would expect for, you know, a world-class roboticist. He was optimistic, he had a passion, and he had this fire. And that's one of the things I'll always remember about him is this fire. The thing about Gerardo is no matter what challenge he was faced with, he always rose to it. And for those that don't know anything about robotics, it's incredibly hard. And at first I was a little uh, worried uh, to see how he was handling the robots and what he was doing with them. But I, I came to realize that he had this intuitive sense of the robots and the math that was driving the robots. We learned to trust him and we got to watch him do amazing things. Dear little son, as S-U-N, at 20 years old, you achieved much more than many people had in 80 years. You certainly left a huge mark on the hearts of our family, your friends, your co-workers, and on the robotics world. When I learn of your passing, half of my soul left my body. The other half had already left. I'm going to miss you. I already do. I think it's okay to be sad by his death, but more than anything, I hope that everyone who knew him and the people that we continue to tell his story to, I hope that they're inspired and motivated by his life. To not be afraid to dream big and to take risks and chances. To live life fearlessly and to the fullest, just like Gerardo did. So whoever you are and whatever you do, time is the only thing we have and we need to think about how we spend it and who we spend it with. And I'm incredibly grateful to have gotten to spend time with Gerardo. We're going to do our best to rise to the challenge now to move on without you and to carry on your legacy. And hopefully we'll make you proud. Thank you. <laughs>